everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. So I'm coming to you with this video today on Sunday afternoon, the Sunday afternoon after the Dressmakers Ball. Now for those of you that don't know, the Dressmakers Ball is an event held in Leicester, which is in England, and it's organised by the lovely Sarah and Freya who own and run Crafty So and So, which is a fabric haberdashery and workshop space in Leicester and yeah they held one two years ago which I didn't go to because I wasn't a dressmaker then and they didn't have one last year but then this year was the return of the dressmakers ball and I feel like I bought my ticket ages ago and I've been sort of thinking oh it's ages away it's ages away I don't need to think about it yet and then it's all of a sudden just crept up on me and yeah it was this weekend. So I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about the event, about the outfit that I wore and some other little things as well. Before I start, um, I'm not wearing anything me made today, I'm just wearing my, you know, get things done around the house clothes. So I'm wearing this cute little t-shirt from Topshop and it's got little embroidered hearts on the chest which say oui and non, which a yes and no in French. I'm sure everybody knows that. And I'm not even going to tell you what's on the bottom half because, well, it's a pair of joggers, <laughs> but not the most glamorous. So yeah, from the face up, I look reasonably <laughs> put together. <laughs> so the dressmaker's ball. I travelled down with two lovely ladies, Samantha, who is Purple Sewing Cloud on Instagram, and Jen, whose profile is Jen Leg might be Gen Leg 4, I'll, I'll put a link to it. And she also runs Tees Creative. And we travelled down together, which was a good laugh. Jen slept in the back of the car because she wasn't very well, bless her. But Sam and I just chatted the whole way there, which was lovely. And we got there, we got there later than we would have liked to, but obviously it was a Friday, I had to work. So by the time I finished work and we travelled down, we were, we were late. So we got to our hotel, quickly got ready. Keely came to our room, so the lovely Keely from Voice of a Creative. She arrived, got ready, and then came to our room to meet us, and we walked over to the venue together. We arrived, as I say, quite late, so we probably missed the first 45 minutes or so, which was a shame, but, you know, c'est la vie. And when we arrived, everyone was so welcoming. We met Freya and Sarah and then one of the first people that we chatted to was the very lovely Joy from Pink Coat Club who just radiates this incredible positive energy so it was just an absolute I was gonna say an absolute joy it was an absolute joy to meet Joy <laughs> and then we mingled a little bit got a drink signed up to the catwalk competition and then we headed upstairs to a huge room which had these big circular tables in and by the time we got there everyone was kind of sat down in in their different groups at the different tables but we managed to find a table with some wonderful ladies and we sat with them and you know we knew we knew them from instagram anyway and yeah that that was the start of the evening then there was some food which i struggled a little bit with because there wasn't really anything i could eat but I did have some cheese and crackers, so that was fine. And we just chatted, admired each other's outfits, and then there was some music, so there was a live band, which was, a, a I think, a, a university band, which was incredible. And then the catwalk competition began. So there were different categories, so there was best dressed male, where only one person entered, and he won. <laughs> surprise, surprise. There was best accessory, best dress by a new dressmaker and best dress by a more experienced dressmaker and it was great fun we got up I didn't think I was going to be able to do it in advance of it I'd said you know I definitely won't do the catwalk I signed myself up to it downstairs at the venue and then even after that I was saying oh, I'll just go and let them know that I'm not going to do it but then I don't know just the support of energy in the room and everyone was so complimentary and just wonderful I just you know swept me away so I did it I was brave and I loved it and everyone cheered and whooped and clapped and it was just fantastic 
so yeah there was that and then dancing music and dancing lots of fun and yeah that was the end of the night it was it was so lovely to meet people that you chat to online I'm not going to go into everybody that I met because I don't want to miss anybody out but I really met some wonderful ladies yeah it was just fantastic and it's given me the bug now I really want to meet more people or meet the same people but spend more time with them because that's the only thing with the dressmakers ball I feel like it was so short it was obviously we arrived late so it was over with within about four hours and it was just such a shame because we were having such fun and because there were 150 people there you didn't get the chance to talk to everyone that you would like to which was a shame but it was a great experience I really really loved it a couple of notable absences I'll just mention Jay, my lovely friend who's the Camden Stitch and Danny, Pocket or Two, I'll link them down below. Both of them were ill and weren't able to make it which was a real shame. I was really looking forward to spending time with them but hopefully I'll get to see them soon. I'm just gonna have a little drink. Today, with it being Sunday afternoon, I'm having a little gin and tonic. This is a gorgeous gin that my husband bought me for Valentine's Day. So it's the Love Gin by Eden Mill which is really really nice. I love the bottle as well and I've got some rose petals and some tonic in with that so it's just a nice little Sunday afternoon treat. Right so what I wore. I have talked about this before in my videos but I decided to go for separate so I could wear them again. My skirt was completely inspired by the gorgeous Emma who is the zipper foot over on Instagram and on YouTube. Today actually she's put up a video about the dressmakers ball and definitely go and check that out but it was a real pleasure to meet Emma. She's so so lovely. She's one of the people that I chat to the most online and I love seeing her posts and everything she makes and she's just a genuinely lovely lovely person it's a shame she kind of lives at the opposite end of the country to me she's really far away but hopefully it won't be too long before i see her again so yeah my skirt was completely inspired by her version of this skirt and it's the deer and doe fumater skirt i made it in fabric from lindy bop which was a magpie print crepe de chine magpies because i live in newcastle i'm a newcastle united supporter Newcastle are known as the magpies so there's the link so I'll just show you obviously I'll put photos in as well but it's been crumpled up in my suitcase so it's not looking its best but here we go we've got the skirt you can see I've got buttons all down the front it's got elastic in the back just for comfort and fit it's got a waistband with belt loops all the way around so I just wore it I wore it very high-waisted with just a simple black belt around the buttons are just quite cheap buttons from John Lewis they were only 50 pence each so yeah I just thought they were lovely I, I wanted shimmery sparkly buttons because you know magpies like treasure like sparkly things so that was the little link there the inside now on the pattern it suggests you can top stitch the seams down because obviously it's made with all of these panels it's made out of lots and lots of panels you can't really see them there but to give it that structure and that shape so you've you've got a lot of seams inside and the pattern suggests either top stitching them down or French seams now I've never French seamed anything before but I do love the look of it so I decided that's what I was going to go for with it being a special occasion and a really special make I wanted it to be the best that it could be so I looked online to find out how to French seam and just nothing was really, you know, there was too much, nothing was clicking with me, nothing was clear enough. And then I remembered on my bookshelf, I've got this incredible resource, which is The Sewing Book by Alison Smith, who I'll mention later on in this video, actually. And in there is an absolutely fantastic step-by-step -step guide to French seams. And it was perfect. I managed them straight away and yeah, without a struggle at all. So I'll just show you a little example of the French seams. I'm not sure if that's going to show up very well. But there you go. You can see the inside. This, the finish is really, really neat and lovely. So yeah, there we go. The bottom of the skirt and um, hems can often be a nightmare. 
to get them looking really neat but the bottom of this is finished with a face in which is really nice so sorry there's so much of this skirt it's difficult to show so there we've got the bottom of the skirt and you can see that it's just finished with a face in and then top stitch down which I just think looks really really neat I love the process of making this skirt I love the look of it it got a lot of compliments on the night and I've got the Tati Divine magpie necklace which matches perfectly and yeah I'm really really happy with that I definitely want to make another one maybe in something like a big bold floral print a bit like Emma's version and probably I'll make the zip up the fly front version with the pockets next time for the top I decided to make the closet case patterns netty bodysuit I used lurex jersey from like so amazing I opted for the scoop neck at the front and the very low scoop back which I wanted that drama and that you know a bit of interest it's a long sleeved bodysuit the skirt is floor length so I wanted something that was a bit dramatic a bit eye-catching so the whole of the back is out as you'll see from the picture making the bodysuit was almost a smooth ride other than because I went for the low back version you can't then wear a bra with it so there is the option of including a shelf bra so I decided to do that because I left it to the last minute by the time I went to buy the pads that you needed to put in I couldn't get the ones that I needed in time so I bought these bikini cup things from John Lewis well they were just a disaster there was no way I could use them they just looked utterly bizarre I looked like some sort of alien <laughs> so I cast those aside and decided to just go braless because you know I don't have a very big chest I don't need any support or much support so the start of the shelf bra which is sort of just the fabric itself again more like a lining that was enough really but it did mean that the shoulders of the bodysuit were slipping a little bit I was a little bit nervous that I may end up revealing a little bit more than is socially acceptable <laughs> at the ball because obviously you know if you've had a couple of drinks or you're dancing you may be not as careful about making sure that it's pulled up properly so I was a bit concerned about that so when we arrived in Leicester I put out a little message on my Instagram stories and I asked if anybody could save the day with some double-sided tape and Carrie from Carrie Can Make It she had some with her in a bag so thank you Carrie for saving the day we just put some in the shoulders and it kept it secure all night and I wasn't worried so yeah I think that might be enough about the night all I want to say is thank you to Sarah and Freya for organizing it thank you for everybody that just made it a wonderful occasion the very lovely Samantha and Keely who I spent most of the night with and who I work with on the patterns and prints challenge they were just wonderful and yeah everybody I met and spoke to it was just a real pleasure definitely go and check out Emma's video to see a bit more about the ball check out Sean from Kittenish Behaviours video and you'll see a little appearance from me at the end bear in mind this was filmed very late in the evening so we may look a little bit happy in that clip um, but it's such a shame I didn't even see Sean and her lovely mom until they were leaving which was such a shame but they both looked incredible absolutely incredible if yeah if you go over to Sean's video Kittenish Behaviour you'll see their incredible dresses just yeah stunning I'll also link down below the photographer's Facebook page because she has I think about 140 pictures on there of the event so you can go and have a little look at some of the pictures and hopefully it might inspire you to go next year or to go to a sewing event near you yeah it's definitely given me the bug I definitely want to meet more people do more sewing things spend my life doing sewing things and meeting sewing people and honestly the sewing community and the people that are in it just they're just so lovely they're the nicest most supportive most friendly and just genuine people that you could wish to meet so I'm so grateful to be a part of it and I just want to be more and more and more involved in it so yeah I'll stop rambling about that now so the next day obviously we're in a different city somewhere that is new 
the obvious thing that you have to do is go fabric shopping. So myself and Samantha and Keely met up and, well, we were staying in the same hotel. I was actually sharing a room and a bed with Samantha. But um, we met with Keely to go down for breakfast and then we went and put our things in our cars and headed to Crafty So-and-So. Now, it didn't open until 11 and this was at about quarter past 10. So we found a wonderful coffee shop to have pancakes with maple syrup and banana and Greek yogurt and mm, yeah, they were delicious. <laughs> and then once we'd had that, we went to Crafty So-and-So, which was buzzing with ladies who'd also been to the ball. And that was lovely to just chat with them the morning after the night before, stroke some fabric, look around the lovely space, see Freya and Sarah again. And I made a couple of purchases. So I'll show you what I got. The first thing is this super cute and soft cotton jersey. It's grey with lovely little hand-drawn black hearts on it. I got a metre and a half of that and I want to use that for a sweater dress. Now I want to branch out from my true love, which is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater, which is actually on the mannequin behind you as well. I do want to try something different. So if you've got some ideas of something that would be good or, you know, any ideas for that fabric. I think a jumper dress is what I would like to make, but I would like to try something new. The other thing I bought when I was there were some Kylie in the Machine labels to sew inside clothes. Now I have my own labels that have my logo on. So that's them. If I put it on my hand, you'll kind of see the size of the logo. Now they're quite large, larger maybe than normal labels because of the style of my logo it needed to be that size to keep it looking correct and like in proportion so soon I'm going to be starting to make some baby clothes for friends that are starting to have babies <laughs> and I wanted some labels to sew in those clothes just so they know that the items are handmade and not bought from a shop <laughs> um, so I decided to buy these really cute Kylie in the Machine labels with the bright colours behind and yeah they're just lovely really like them. The Kylie and the Sheen labels have been so popular. Everyone that I see on Instagram pretty much has got some and they do an amazing range of them. And most of the online fabric shops or bricks and mortar fabric shops in the UK definitely sell these. So I'm sure you'll be able to get them anywhere. And then once we'd finished at Crafty So-and-So and said goodbye to everyone, we had decided to drive over to Ashby de la Zouche. I mean, is that not the coolest place name ever? <laughs> Ashby de la Zouche. And that is about half an hour away from Leicester. And it's actually the hometown of Adele, who is Button and Pip on YouTube and Instagram. And she was at our table at the dressmaker's ball, actually. And she's just wonderful. So fun, so funny. And she was wearing an incredible dress with a very dramatic thigh split, but it looked, she looked stunning. It was really, really lovely. So yeah, that's her hometown anyway. And we went there because there is an incredible fabric shop and it's called Sew Your Own Wardrobe. It's owned by Alison Smith, who I mentioned earlier, who's the writer of the book that I learned how a French seam from. And she's very well known in the sewing world. And she runs a sewing school there and she's opened Sew Your Own Wardrobe. And it's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous space. As soon as we got there, I just, I fell in love. I'm going to put a video in with me talking over it to sort of show you around the shop, but it was just beautiful. So spacious, the way everything was set out, just incredible. So if you're ever near Ashby or Leicester or anywhere in that area, definitely go and take a look. We were served by an welcomed by a lovely lady called Abby who was very knowledgeable and welcoming and yeah it was just a, a really wonderful experience being there. So here we are in the shop and you can see the amazing range of fabrics and what I loved about it was they're all arranged by colour rather than by fabric type which most shops do so it was really lovely to see the different colour schemes and the ranges that they had it was amazing. Here are some of the remnants that you could buy and you can see they're all packaged up really nicely. We've got a ribbon stand and an amazing range of thread. 
and there's just some little goodies that they were selling as well and then in the back room you've got a huge range of prim haberdashery items and then a wall of zips so these are invisible zips and then another stand of zips here and then moving round to the lingerie section so we've got an enormous range of supplies for making your own lingerie and then here are some of the patterns and this is the daisy bralette and knicker kit that I have bought and then some more fabrics here and again lots more lingerie supplies the range is incredible you can see these again arranged by colour and Jen bought the supplies to make an amazing bra then here we've got the huge wall of patterns you know you can see the avid seamstress, deer and doe, merchant and mills paper cut patterns all sorts they've got such a good range there's Jen and Sam just having a little browse <laughs> And moving back through to the desk where you go and make your purchases. Some lovely little things on the desk there to buy. There's some more remnants in that basket. And some larger rolls of fabric here. And some lovely silk and lots of lining fabrics there. This is a reel of samples made up in lots of their fabrics and another sample dress there and some lovely skirt making kits and jeans making kits on the floor down there in the crate lots of gorgeous samples on that rail then we've got the big cutting table in the middle and there's Keely buying some lovely fabric they've also got a website so go and check them out and you can you know buy their gorgeous fabrics online as well so at Sew Your Own Wardrobe there was myself, Sam and Jen and then Keely drove separately and she met us there and what we all said about the fabric selection that was there was it was very unique now because there's so many fabric companies and online stockists and and real life <laughs> bricks and mortar shops and there's obviously a limited number of suppliers a lot of fabric shops end up stuck in the same thing but so your own wardrobe just seemed to have a really unique range of fabric <laughs> really beautiful pieces so we all bought at least one piece of fabric most of us bought two or three and yeah we haven't seen these really anywhere else so definitely go and check them out for some unique and beautiful fabrics so I'll show you what I got first thing is this wonderfully soft needle cord it's this stunning petrol blue color I would say so it's quite a different shade of blue and I got two meters of that it's just gorgeous it's so soft and I love the color and I'm going to make a Nina Lee Camden pinafore with that so yeah I'm really happy with that one I'm sure it was only something like 11 pounds a meter which is awesome so yeah it was that then I got this incredible very kitsch cotton jersey I mean look at this oh I'll show you that way around look at this can you see the cats and the little girl dressed as a bunny and the little birds and the flowers oh it's just so cute very retro kitsch vintagey style but I just had to have it I adored it so that was a one meter remnant and they had quite a lot of remnants but they were all presented beautifully rolled up in these little sleeves and on the back of those it told you sort of the fabric composition how, how wide it was how much there was of it and the price and they had you know one meter lengths 1.5 2 and 2.5 so those loads and loads of remnants that you could choose from and yeah I had to have that one I just did <laughs> the other thing that I got from there which was one of the main things that we were really interested in was um they have a lot of bra making and lingerie making equipment equipment is that the right word 
like fabric, notions, patterns, etc. And they have some incredible bralette kits, bralette and knicker kits. And I thought that's something I'd really like to try. Now, like I said earlier, I don't need a lot of support in that area. So I'm not hugely keen on making like an underwired bra or something like that. But a bralette is just, yeah, that's something really cute and something pretty and a new skill to try. And when I saw they did kits, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. So I'll show you how it looks. So I'm not going to unpack it because it just looks so pretty, but it comes in this lovely little box with a tag on and everything in there. And on the back, it tells you everything that is in the kit, everything that's included. And that's only 18 pounds and it's got everything in for the bralette and knickers. Then the pattern itself is one of Alison's own patterns. It's called the Daisy Bralette and Pants and it comes like that in a lovely little bag and that was £12 so together it's only £30 for the kit which I thought was really reasonable and I'm excited to get started on that. Something really delicate and you know small to work on um, and I'll just show you the things that came in the bag when you bought the well whatever you bought from there. So you got a leaflet which is just talking about the shop and showing you the different areas and then talking about Alison's School of Sewing which is great. <laughs> great. I don't know I haven't been to it but I imagine it's great. She's extremely knowledgeable. She's like a genius of the sewing world so I would love to go to a workshop there. I'd absolutely love it. So I'm going to check out the website and see what they've got going on and see if there's anything I could make a little trip to Ash before. Then you've got, sorry, a lovely little thank you card and on the back it talks to you about how to approach patterns, what to do with them, um, advice and then it talks to you about fabric care and how to prepare your fabric. So love that. And then, this was great as well, another leaflet with, so let's get that into shot, how to measure yourself. So that's really useful. So it shows you on the front the different parts that you need to measure. And then on the back, it talks you through those measurements and how to actually take them. And then it gives you some specific advice on how to use Alison's patterns. So yeah, I thought that was really useful as well. So the whole experience of being there at Sew Your Own Wardrobe was just wonderful. I really want to go back, but I would highly recommend that you go and check them out. And I can't wait to go and pre-wash pre my fabric so I can get making with them. I have no idea what I'm going to make with the cat print jersey, by the way, but I just had to have it. I couldn't leave it behind. But the Camden Pinafore is going to happen very soon. I want to take that to New York with me. So that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. And then here's the gorgeous Sam, Jen and Keely with their purchases outside the wonderful Sew Your Own Wardrobe. And here's just a little view of the window display. We'll definitely be back soon. Sorry if my position is ever so slightly different, but I had to stop filming and then start again. So I may have moved slightly. Hopefully it's still in focus. So the last thing I wanted to show you was not something that I bought while I was in Leicester or Ashby or at the dressmaker's ball. But when I arrived home yesterday evening, there was a little package for me on the doormat and it was something that I'd ordered from Lamazi Fabrics. Now, Lamazi Fabrics are a company that I've ordered from before and I love the range of fabrics that they stock. They're so lovely as well. And they offer free postage, which is an absolute win. So yeah, if you ever need anything and you really don't want to pay those postage costs, then Labazi Fabrics is the place to go. And they often have a really good sale and remnant section. And remnants are great because you always get them discounted, but often they're not big enough to make anything with really. I mean, I've got a few that I'm going to try and do some bits and pieces with, but you can't really make anything substantial from a remnant usually, like nothing like a dress or something like that. But Lamazi Fabrics remnants are sizable. <laughs> so they actually stock remnants that are 1.5, 2 meters, 2.5 meters. Well, probably more specific numbers than that. But just to give you an idea, they come in larger pieces. And I was having a little browse, which I shouldn't have done really because I'm not supposed to be spending any money, but I couldn't resist. And I spotted something that I just felt like I had to have, but I stopped myself. And then I kept thinking about it, but I thought, no, be strong, you can do it. 
And then Lamazi Fabrics, thank you very much, <laughs> went and posted a 10% off code to get an extra 10% off their sale and remnants. So, you know, that was the temptation I needed. I'm not as strong-willed as I should be. <laughs> but that was, you know, that was great. That was, to get another 10% off when they were already discounted was fantastic. So I'll show you what I got. I got a beautiful burgundy rayon viscose. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? I just had to have it. Something about the print and the combination of colours, I think it's quite 70s. It really makes me think of Victoria Smith, who is on YouTube and on Instagram as Victoria Lucille Anne. She was previously Dance Baby, but she has changed her name <laughs> recently. So I'll link her down below, but I'm sure you're aware of it. This makes me think of her. I think it's the, the colours particularly this colour here, really makes me think of her. So, you know, if I can look as, as cool as she looks in some of her makes, well, all of her makes, then I'll be on to a winner. So yeah, I got, this is 2.21 metres, which for a remnant is fantastic. And I can't remember how much it was, but I think with the 10% off, it was something like £22 or £21, which is a bargain. So I'm looking forward to making some sort of wonderful dress with that. And they send out a lovely little business card, postcard, with a message on the back from James and Liana, who are the couple that own Lamazi Fabrics, and also some matching thread, which is always a bonus. So yeah, loved coming home to that yesterday. That's gonna go and get pre-washed straight away as well. So that's it for today. I feel like that was a lot of information. And actually this is the second time I've filmed this video. So I filmed it, I called for Sam, told him that it was done and yeah, ready to edit. And he came and he looked and the microphone wasn't switched on. Now I'm not going to say whose fault that was. But yeah, these things happen. So I've had to film the whole thing again. So another half hour. <laughs> so I've been sitting here for an hour, so I need to get up and stretch my legs really. But thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you'd like to subscribe and you don't already, then please do. And yeah, I'll be back very soon because we're getting towards the end of March. So I'll definitely have my March makes and favorites video coming up next weekend. But I think I'll upload a video this week as well, sort of midweek. A couple of people have suggested a sewing room tour, so I think that might be the one. Unless you've got any other suggestions, what you'd like to see this week specifically, then yeah, comment down below if you have got an idea, or if you'd like to talk about anything that I've mentioned. I'm completely waffling now. I should go. Thank you for watching. Happy sewing. <laughs> Bye. And the different parts that you need to measure yourself, that you need to measure measure the